the key determinant is the availability of dependable physical infrastructure. The government has stated its priority in several infrastructure projects, uh, such as power plant, toll road, and money, many others. This initiative also comprises the private sector. Yet, this is alone is not enough to increase competitiveness. Uh, we, we also have to improve the um, one of the things that seems to me is very important uh, related to our topic today uh, is about uh, a logistic system. Uh, I aware that uh, there are three important uh, pillars later on that we discussed today. It is about technology, finance, and insurance as well. I mean, it is it's a kind of uh, uh, a certain arrangement that is very, very important that we can learn later on from, from G7. Uh, a technology-based soft infrastructure is one way to support this initiative. It is, uh, I, I, I personally look forward to learn what, what really, the, uh, what really uh, uh, you know, in a great detail, what really that we can uh, uh, accelerate the, the arrangement within the Indonesian context. How, how can we, uh, we improve the efficiency for this logistic change, for example? I believe, I will, uh, I believe uh, it will play a vital role in sizing the opportunity ahead. Uh, we could learn from Singapore, for example, who has been ranked as the number one in trade efficiency uh, by the World Bank Logistic Performance Index. Uh, with the help of the sophisticated technology. I personally believe that the power of technology uh, in affecting efficiency and therefore led to accessible savings. Uh, my experience in enhancing the structure of Indonesian banking, for example, and the event efficiency of the Indonesian banking has come with the help of the implementation of the higher uh, technology. Uh, uh, this is very important. Uh, 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 we talk about not only actually uh, about not only about the technology, but also we we we're looking forward to see later on the improvement of uh, financial institution. Ladies and gentlemen, having said so, of course I welcome the uh, assistance from uh, global coalition for efficient logistics of G cells with the introduction of a technology-based soft infrastructure. I noticed that the G cell program, which includes amongst uh, others, the development of open source technology based uh, soft infrastructure for the global logistic industry to facilitate trade, is therefore most appropriate at this juncture. Um, Again, uh, I think this is uh, uh, this is very important. Uh, this is very important when we are in the middle to to search or to seek the appropriate way how our financial response should respond to this current opportunity. Because uh, uh, the the economic situation at the moment uh, quite encouraging uh, domestically. Uh, our external balance is positive, our trade is growing. Uh, not mention about the, uh, the, the indicators of inflation, economic growth and others, seems to me is quite encouraging. So that's why uh, uh, with these with this, uh, uh, indicators that we, we have, I think it is also important to seek the, the way uh, which is more efficient to deal with uh, the way how we support this uh, particular the, how we support our uh, an export activity by evolving uh, uh, the technology and uh, support from financial institutions. This is this is the this is the, the the topic that seems to me is also one of the one of the uh, 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 focus that uh, the central bank at the moment 
see that this is one of the very important issues. Uh, the lending growth, particularly coming from banks last year, uh, uh, dropped drop very significantly compared, uh, uh, compared to the previous year. So we are talking about the numbers in 19, uh, 2008 and 2009. Uh, 2008 is, is uh, at that time was one of the uh, very encouraging years as far as the banking is concerned. But 2009, when the global crisis was uh, spreading and then the, the, the economic growth dropped quite significantly, uh, and also at the impact of this, I think the, the, the activity of the Indonesian banking and financial institutions also dropped quite significantly. Uh, this arrangement perhaps opened uh, another opportunity for financial institution in Indonesia. Uh, not only for financial institution, I believe uh, the, the, the businessman uh, uh, the, and other, uh, uh, you know, the, the act business activity also will, will uh, have some uh, get some benefit from this arrangement. Uh, that's why. Uh, in the middle that we would like to support Indonesian banks also to 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 do land to do land you know I think uh, it is also important uh, I try to I try to connect this new arrangement with, with this uh, with this expectation that we would like to see that Indonesian banking also also start lending uh, this year so hopefully uh, this is a kind of uh, 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 interconnection between uh, two important interests, you know, the other one, the other side that we would like to see that our financial institution more contributive to the national economic development and then the other, the other side is basically we are looking forward to find out the way or the new arrangement that, 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 that will allow, uh, you know, the collaboration between Kadin uh, and also financial institution in, in such a way uh, that is more uh, efficient, uh, more uh, profitable and more contributive to the uh, national economic development. With the signing of MOU between, uh, I, I believe, I'm, I'm, I'm not mistaken here, that MOU between uh, Kadin and GSEL, uh, it, it states clearly our interest to participate in the GCEL program as the first Asia benchmark trade, trade lane on the uh, 24th of July 2009. Uh, well, initial deployment of GCEL of infrastructures shall commence in Indonesia and will be linked to selected Indonesian trade partners. Uh, it, it's, it's good to start, uh, seems to me. Uh, and then there are numerous benefits attached to the GCEL program, I believe. I, I try to learn from the perspectives and your website to learn what really the GCEL activity. But most importantly, it seems to me, it's also bring a business opportunity for the global finance industry um, in, in the world in particular, we are talking here in Indonesia. I think it's already worth around 5 trillion US dollars and uh, 100 billion for the global insurance industry by 2020, which financial insurance industry players in Indonesia might want to share off. Uh, again, this is a truly uh, opportunity for uh, uh, Indonesian financial institution in the middle of uh, a uh, very encouraging uh, development at the moment uh, and also uh, in the middle that we expect that uh, Indonesian financial institutions will start uh, uh, looking uh, opportunity or banks in particular start lending to support further economic development. Uh, again, uh, on behalf of Bank Indonesia, I would like uh, uh, to welcome to this collaboration uh, and welcome uh, to Giselle and uh, as uh, Mr. 
Adi Putrata had mentioned earlier that uh, I think uh, it is important to 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 communicate this arrangement into uh, so people more people will understand what really the arrangement between uh, this is global and uh, this is a global, global arrangement that seems to me uh, we have to learn a little bit more detail and then uh, I, I do believe uh, uh, perhaps we need a kind of special system for uh, Indonesian financial institution. Uh, later on I expect to sell can we find banks or insurance companies and uh, in a special session for them. Just to let them like, you know that how this arrangement can benefit from all parts, including uh, Indonesian banks and Indonesian insurance. Uh, it is also important to know about the technology involved of this, this arrangement. I, I do believe it is also very important because uh, uh, how effective, how efficient this arrangement uh, conducted. Uh, uh, and then it seems to me, uh, as, as a whole, uh, I, I do believe that this will, uh, uh, this arrangement will, will benefit the, uh, our uh, economy. So, uh, again, uh, welcome to Jakarta and then uh, welcome for the arrangement for the MOU uh, uh, and congratulations for this uh, MOU between uh, the Sahara and Kari. Looking forward, uh, as part of the Indonesian financial institution, we are looking forward to, to, to see, to, to learn uh, from your experience and other countries' experience in this particular. Thank you very much.